Hello everybody, welcome back to The Body Coach TV on YouTube. My name is Lucy and I'm gonna be taking you through a 15 minute hip opening flow today. So we're gonna be focusing mainly around the lower body area. You don't need any props or any equipment for today's class, you just need a mat and some space. It is going to be mostly floor based today. We might stand up a little bit during the class, but most things will be down on the ground. So just make sure you've got yourself some space, you don't need anything else. And we're gonna start in a cross-legged position sat on the floor. If this feels like it's a little bit tight for you, you feel free to grab a cushion, or if you do have a block, you can place it underneath you. This is just gonna raise your pelvis a little bit and give your hips a little bit more space if sitting cross-legged doesn't feel too comfortable for you. So wherever you are, just take that position and let's bring your hands down onto your legs and close down the eyes. We're just gonna start by tuning into how you feel right now, how your physical body feels, and just noticing what's going on in your body. So maybe even bringing that focus down towards the hip area. How does it feel as you're sat in this position? Maybe it feels quite comfortable. Maybe you can already feel a little bit of tightness or some sensations around that area. And again, just starting to notice. So not labeling anything as good or bad, but just simply observing. And as we move through this little flow today, I just want you to really focus on the hip area and seeing if we can use our breath to help us sink into those spaces a little bit more. So let's start to bring our awareness to the breath now. Where can you feel the breath moving? Is it moving in your belly or your chest? And we're gonna start by taking a few deep breaths. So when you're ready, let's take a nice big deep breath into the belly, all the way up into the chest. And then a nice, slow, soft exhale. Let's do one more like that. Nice, big, deep breath in. And a slow, soft breath out. Lovely. Now, before we move on to the rest of the class, let's set a little intention for our practice today. So something positive you'd like to bring into the rest of your day. Maybe it's to be calm. Maybe it's to feel focused, maybe it's to just be kind to yourself, whatever it is, set that intention in the mind now. Yeah, and then wherever you are, we're gonna bring your hands onto your knees if they're not there already. And we're gonna to start to warm up the hips a little bit and the spine as well. So I want you to round the spine so you're curling the back and then roll over onto one side and then lift the chest as you come forward. So we're gonna take some nice big hip circles. So not only are we warming up the hips and the pelvis, we're also warming up your spine as well. And just noticing if there's any little pockets of tension anywhere, anywhere that feels a little bit tight, a little bit sore. This is also a really great flow to do after a leg day, just to stretch out all of that lower body. Good, and then let's switch directions. So rolling around the other way. Good, noticing how that feels in the hips. Maybe there's a few little clicks and clunks in there. That happens too sometimes. Don't worry if there is. Good, one more circle. Lovely, well done. Then slowly coming all the way back to the center. Let's take both arms up, take a nice big stretch as you inhale. Exhale, let's bring those hands down to your hearts. Lovely. From here, we're gonna bring the soles of your feet together. So knees out to the side, holding onto your ankles and just allow your knees to fall out to the sides. We're just gonna take a little rock from side to side, just opening up into those legs. Now you can either stick with this rock or if you wanna intensify this a little bit, we're gonna bring your hands onto your knees and as you lean over to one side, I want you to push down on the other, on the other leg. Good, so we're rocking from side to side. We're putting a little bit of weight into that rock. Good, lovely. Then slowly coming back to the center, keeping your hands where they are. I want you to push your hands down into your legs as you try and push your legs up into your hands. So starting to warm up. The inner, the inner groin, holding it there just for one more, more breath. And exhale. Lovely, slowly soften and release, well done. Now we're gonna bring your hands behind you and we're just gonna place the feet down onto the floor, a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Lean back onto your hands and we're just gonna take a rock from side to side. So just dropping the knees down and rocking gently. So the knees don't have to touch the floor. If they don't, don't worry. Just slowly taking that little rock and again, noticing any places that feel a little bit tight or a little bit uncomfortable and just noticing it. 
Lovely, well done. Now we're going to rock all the way over onto your right side and I want you to have both legs around a 90 degree angle. It doesn't have to be perfectly 90 degrees, but just in that little S shape. We're going to bring your hands down onto the floor either side of your front leg and then walk them forwards a little bit. And we're just going to take a few little lifts here. So as you inhale, let's lift the chest. Exhale, can you bend the elbows, fold a little bit deeper. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Lovely, last one, inhale and exhale lovely let's slowly walk it all the way back up we're going to switch all the way over to the other side so bring your hands behind you flip the legs all the way around so your left leg is in front fingertips on the ground good again walk those hands away inhale to lift the chest exhale bend the elbows lower the chest good two more inhale and exhale lovely last one inhale and exhale Good, lovely. Let's slowly walk the hands all the way back up. We're going to come back to the center and then cross your legs. We're going to come over into a tabletop position. So hands on the floor directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're going to spread the fingers nice and wide. And let's walk the spine a little bit. So inhale to look up. Exhale to round under. Good, two more. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely, last one. Inhaling, look up and exhaling rolling under from here we're going to start to roll the spine around in circles so not only are we warming up the spine but we're also moving the hips from side to side so maybe even close down the eyes so don't worry too much about what you look like no one's watching you just slowly rolling the spine in circles and then switching directions rolling around the other way good nice so working into those hips as well as the spine Lovely. And then slowly coming back to a nice neutral spine. We're going to extend your right leg out behind you. I want you to flex your toes and bring them down to the back of the mat. We're just going to take a few little uh, bounces here, pushing into that calf. Good. Lovely. One more bounce. Now we're going to take your right leg all the way out to the right hand side. So you want your foot to be in line with your left thigh. As you inhale, let's lean forwards. Exhale, push all the way back. See if we can bring that hip towards your heel. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, lean forwards. Exhale to push back. Lovely. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Beautiful. Slowly coming forwards. We're going to take your right foot, step it to the outside edge of your right hand, all the way up at the top of the mat. We're going to come up onto your fingertips and let's rock forwards and back here. So inhale, let's lean into the hips, lift the chest. Exhale to push all the way back. See if you can peel those front toes off the floor. Good. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Lovely. Slowly coming forwards. Now we're going to take your back foot, your left foot, kick it off to the right hand side. Keeping your right hand on the ground, we're going to take that left arm up to the sky. Now if this feels too intense on the hips, you can just rest your right elbow onto that thigh instead. Otherwise, keep that hand down on the inside edge of that foot. Good. Lovely. Keep pressing your right arm into your right knee, opening it out to the side. One more breath there. Lovely. Slowly drop that hand all the way back down. We're going to take your left foot, bring it all the way back to the center and then step that right foot all the way back behind you. Let's do the same on the other side. So this time left leg extends out, toes to the ground and let's take those little bounces forwards and back into those that calf. Good. Nice. From there, we're going to take your left leg all the way out to the left hand side. So it's in line with your right knee and we're going to rock forwards and back again. So inhale, let's lean into the hands. Exhale, push all the way back. And don't worry if your hips don't touch your heel. That's fine. Let's do two more. Inhale forwards. Exhale to push back. Lovely. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly coming forwards. Now we're going to take that left foot all the way up to the top of the mat on the outside edge of your left hand. Let's rock forwards and back there as well. So inhale, leaning forwards, exhale to push back. Lovely, two more, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, slowly coming forwards. We're gonna take your right foot and we're gonna kick it off to the left hand side. So your left hand is on the ground, right arm reaches up. So same arm as your front leg is on the floor. Again, if this feels a little bit too uncomfortable, you can rest your left elbow on the thigh instead. Let's hold it there. Keep pushing that arm into the front leg. One more breath. 
Lovely, well done. Bring that hand down to the floor. We're going to wiggle your right leg all the way back around. This time we're going to tuck your right toes under. We're going to step your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand and sink down nice and low into a nice deep squat. So just bring your hands onto the floor and take a little rock from side to side into those hips. Good, nice. From here, see if we can find a little bit of stillness. We're going to bring your hands to your heart. Now see if you can lift the chest, push the elbows into the sides of your knees, lifting from the crown of your head. Good, holding it there. One more breath in, one more breath out. Good, let's bring your hands down to the floor. We're gonna lift your hips, come into your forward fold. So turn your toes forwards. Have a little bend in your knees, hold onto your elbows and take a little sway from side to side. Good, lovely. From there, let's drop your hands down. We're going to roll all the way up to standing nice and slowly. Head is the last thing that lifts. Let's reach those hands up to the sky. Take a big stretch. And as you exhale, we're going to fold all the way back down. Good. From there, just place your hands onto the ground. We're going to step it back into your downward facing dog. Now we're going to take your right leg all the way up to the sky, taking a nice big kick. Bend your knee, open up that hip. And then we're going to bring your right knee all the way to your right wrist. So we're going to plant it down on the floor just under your right wrist and kick that foot off to the left hand side. Wiggle your leg back down the mat. We're coming into your pigeon. Now if you feel like you're really far away from the floor under your hip, then place a block or a pillow underneath you. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly fold it forward. So you can either come onto your elbows, you can drop your head down onto your hands. And we're just going to take two deep breaths here. Breathing into that right hip. So again, using your breath to help you settle here. Can you relax the shoulders? Can you relax any other tension in the body? Good, let's take one more breath. And exhale. Beautiful, walk those hands all the way back in. We're gonna tuck your back toe under, lift that back knee and let's slide your right leg all the way back. We're coming straight over into the other side. Let's take that left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your left knee towards your left wrist, plant it down, kick that foot off to the other side and wiggle your back leg down the mat. Good, again, if you need that block, you can place the block underneath your hip, take a breath in. Exhale, slowly walk it down. Drop the head down towards the hands, relax the shoulders, three deep breaths. Every time you exhale, softening into that space. So notice if you're really squeezing your thigh here, can you let it go a little bit more? Good, taking nice deep breaths, in and out through the nose. Good, let's take one more breath in, one more breath out. Beautiful, well done. Let's slowly walk those hands all the way back up. This time we're gonna roll over onto your left hip, come all the way around, bring that right leg around in front of you. We're gonna bring the soles of your feet together again, but this time instead of having your feet really close towards you, I want you to push your feet away. So we've got almost like a diamond shape in the middle of the legs. And we're gonna take the backs of your hands down onto the floor and then wiggle them underneath your calves as far as they will go. So don't worry if your legs are lifted quite high or if your hands aren't quite touching the floor, it's absolutely fine. Wherever you are, I just want you to let your legs and your arms be really heavy. So we're really just thinking about sinking into this pose. Can you relax the shoulders a little bit more? Can you relax the head, the neck? And we're just gonna take two more breaths here. In and out through the nose, breathing softly. Every time you exhale, softening a little bit more. Noticing where you can feel the stretch, where are the restrictions. And instead of allowing yourself to get frustrated, just notice that frustration if it's there and just sit with it. One more breath. Lovely. When you're ready, slowly roll all the way back up. Amazing. We're going to bring your fingertips behind you, lift the shoulders, push the elbows back, push the shoulders back, take a big breath in and a breath out. Lovely. Slowly coming forward. Let's bring your hands underneath your knees and we're slowly going to draw them together. We're going to take them out a little bit wider again, just like we did at the beginning of the class. Let's drop those knees from side to side. Now you might notice a little difference in the hips. Maybe they feel a little bit more open after all of those little stretches and just noticing how they feel. Good. Lovely. Well done. 
From there, let's slowly come all the way back to the center. We're gonna slide your legs away from you now and have your right leg bent. We're gonna take your right ankle onto that left thigh. So you wanna try and get it above the knee and drop the right knee out to the side. Bring your hands behind your back, lean back, and we're gonna step that left foot onto the ground. If you wanna make this more intense, you can wiggle yourself closer to your heel and then lift your chest. You wanna try and have a nice straight spine here. One more breath in, one more breath out. Good, let's switch over to the other side. So slide that left leg away, drop your right foot down and then switch sides. So left foot onto the right thigh above the knee. So you wanna wiggle it up there with your hands, lean back with your hands and then slide that right leg down so your foot's on the floor. Again, wiggle a little bit closer if you need to and relax the shoulders. Good, we're just gonna hold here for one more breath and exhale. Beautiful, well done. Let's slowly slide that right leg all the way down and then release both legs, come into a little seated position. So if you wanna sit cross-legged, you can. If you find another seat comfortable, you can do that. Come into that seated position, hands on the knees. Let's take two deep breaths just to close the class. Big breath in and out. One more nice big deep breath in and sigh out. Good, well done. Bring your hands together. Notice this lovely energy you've created. Notice that space you've created around your hips and see if you can bring this energy with you into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me in that lovely hip opening class. Hips is always one of my favorite things to stretch out. This is a perfect little um, class to do after a leg workout, a leg day, or even if you've just been walking a lot or running a lot, perfect way to stretch out your legs. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I will see you again soon.